Medici line reporting on the uh, Bank of America's uh, double dipping scheme. Uh, a report came out of uh, NPR uh, that um, Bank of America was using a scheme to um, harvest junk fees from customers and did so by charging people $35 whenever they didn't have enough funds available and repeatedly charging customers for the same transaction. Uh, again, this is the uh, huge uh, privacy uh, uh, and you know financial uh, difference between healthcare and uh, you know the rest of the economy it couldn't be more stark. You know the uh, it's not even possible to like bring up a patient account um, without a compelling uh, medical care reason. Um, Bank of America can be held to a medical sect. Uh, they can be held to uh, medical laws. Uh, so again, the rest of the economy. Um, you know, we've held physicians to this, uh, and you know other healthcare workers uh, to uh, our privacy law. Our privacy law should apply uh, everywhere. You know, the Europeans have concluded the privacy law applies everywhere. The um, um, the you know double dipping scheme is a problematic thing uh, because um, you know it's a, a breach of trust. It's a financial breach of trust, um, and again, that's you know not tied to um, you know what we'd say in the Hippocratic Oath: do no harm. And uh, you know, again, the those of us that are in the you know Hippocratic movement, uh, when we look to things like uh, this double dipping scheme that Bank of America did, it's just part of what you know the emotion of disgust that people are experiencing is, um, you know, that my physician group or my hospital uh, has so much higher moral standards than this, um, and you know our industry has held this you know so much higher moral standards than this. And you know the right solution is to say you know Bank of America isn't allowed to practice riparian law. Uh, what's riparian law? For those of you that know real estate, there's you know riparian means access to the sea, and uh, you know this is a pirate style uh, business. You know, the double dipping scheme is riparian. You know it's uh, you know put your hands up and give me give me all your money. Uh, and you know they're sticking people up on a digital ledger. Uh, you know that the patient doesn't have full visibility on, and um, you know doing it uh, while accessing their account uh, without a good predicate for doing that. And you know in healthcare, you know this you know brings up this you know need to have a registration system uh, with four new medical sects. And you know I've just you know made these points elsewhere, but the you know. You need to have a registration system. You know, if you're a physician out there, you need to have a registration physician that works for you, and it's predicated on what um, uh, what medical sect, how you prioritize the Hippocratic Oath. Because again, the the physician uh, being everything to everybody uh, is what hasn't worked. It's why a physician's burnt out. And so, you know, there's Kent English where you know it's for working folks. You know, whether you do workers' comp care or you know put new hips and knees on people. Uh, there's um, Medici Latin, which is you know offering the highest uh, in you know epic epicurean care, you know like patient experience related care. There's uh, Atlantis American, uh, of which it's uh, you know increase in life expectancy. You know where we've seen a decrease in life expectancy since 2014. We need to have a medical sect that's focused on increasing life expectancy. You know, like Medici Latin isn't necessarily going to get there. Like they'll make for happy patients, and like that's the consumer-based healthcare stuff, um, which building a brand is important. Um, built, you know, having high-quality services is important, but Atlantis American is, you know, like important in having, um, you know, medical sex that increase life expectancy. And then there's a uh, what I call Jotine Jagvetic, you know, inclusive of like the Olymp the Olympic movement, um, you know, which is, uh, you know, the medical sect of ability of human ability. Of performance, of high performance, of Olympians, of uh, you know corporate um, responsible corporate executives, um, you know, which includes you know part of my um, quality improvement system called Leading Expect. And um, so you know, offering a registration system that's specific to your medical sect uh, for your physicians is critical uh, because the order in which you ask questions and what questions you ask patients uh, at the beginning are absolutely critical. Uh, and um, particularly in light of the fact that uh, you know you're held to this privacy law, and the um, you know Bank of America isn't, uh, you know which is outrageous, because uh, again the the bank is the one that shouldn't be disclosing information about you. For those of you that are physicians, 
if Bank of America has access to you know your um, personal uh, wealth status, uh, they're likely to share that with third parties and sell that information to third parties. Uh, again, a, a physician's not allowed to do that. And um, you know we have this fundamental belief that every participant in the economy needs to um, be uh, you know attached to the Hippocratic movement, be attached to being superior in horses. Uh, you know, accept uh, the do no harm pledge, uh, and uh, you know, any one or more of those uh, four medical sects. Uh, we know for physicians, doing so uh, determines what order and what questions are asked of patients in registration. Something we do at uh, Profi.me, uh, number twenty-four.